Hello everyone. Welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Musab, Musab Sayyid, and I am a corporate trainer with an experience of more than 13 plus years where I have taught more than 40,000 students in my career and I work for Gotham Digital Learning. Now here today I am to explain you about Linux administration and some very important questions that is in your mind. Many people ask us the questions that to learn Linux, what is the eligibility criteria and to get a job on a Linux administration, which graduation shall we do? And what are the salary packages we can expect in the market? Today, I'm going to answer all those questions for you. First of all, what is Linux? Linux is an open source operating system that is the most important operating system in the world right now not only as an operating system, but it is the base for many leading and cutting edge technologies. Linux is the most important requirement for virtualization, cloud, databases, and DevOps, and many more. In fact, I can tell you that right now you are using Linux with you. Maybe you are watching this video on a mobile phone that runs on Linux. What is Android operating system? Itself, it is an Linux. So in Gotham Digital Learning, we provide you an extensive course on Linux administration, which starts from complete basic to the advanced level. Now, the first question to learn Linux, what is my prerequisite? Do I need to have any previous computing background knowledge? Do I need to learn any programming languages? Or do I need to have any certification? Nothing. You don't have to learn anything. In fact, you know nothing about computers. Still, you can learn Linux. Because in Gotham, we have designed the Linux course as such that anybody who has zero knowledge on computers can also very easily learn Linux with us. Initially, first few days, we are going to explain you about Linux basics, like what is operating system, what type of operating systems are there in the market, where Linux stands, how it evolved over a period of time, how to log in into Linux and do some basic operation. After that, we'll take you to some intermediate level where we'll try to learn how to install Linux operating system, how to deal with partitionings, how to deal with user administration, and very importantly, how to deal with networking. Now guys, network basics are very important for every operating system. So we also teach you that networking in a very detailed way that you will be aware of what networking going on in the market and how it is useful in Linux. Moreover, we talk about SE Linux, we talk about troubleshootings, which is very important. What if tomorrow your OS crashes, the Linux OS, how you can bring it back? What if you have lost the admin password, how you can recover it back? What if your system does not boot, how you are going to reinstall the bootloader? All that important troubleshootings we are going to teach you. Moreover, we are also going to teach you the important servers that is needed for many, many platforms like YUM or DNF server, FTP server, Samba server, DNS server, and all the other important servers. After this, to the advanced part, we are going to take you to something called the automation. In automation part, we take Ansible automation. Nowadays, guys, automation is very, very important. You go around and look, you are surviving across all the automations. When you go out, the traffic signals are automated. When you look at your houses, the street lights are automated. Everywhere automation is important. What if tomorrow you get a job and you have to handle 300 and 400 servers and you want to install a software? or you want to create a user, will you be logging into each machine and doing it manually? Of course not. 
If you do that, you are very much outdated and you don't know how to manage automation. So with automation, hundreds and thousands of servers you can manage from one single end very easily. And your job will be made so easy, you can handle more work in a very less burden way. So for this, in our Linux curriculum, we have Ansible automation course as well. So in Gautam, we are trying to give you the most cutting edge technology so that you must be ready with the market the requirements of the market, what people want in the market, and you will be a hot cake in the market. Now, the question is, what are the eligibility criteria for getting a job? What graduation do you think you, you should have? Basically, a Linux administrator can be having any background of graduation. You may be BCom, you may be BCA, you may be BSc, or you might be any graduate of your choice. Secondly, you can be a postgraduate from MBA or MSc or any other platform that you like. What about the jobs and the salaries? See, as Linux is a very much dependent thing, there are a huge number of jobs that is available. Now, I don't want it to say it by myself. You can visit the job portals like Nokri or Indeed or Monster. Just look out for the trend Linux administration and you'll find how many jobs are available and what is the pay scale that varies from 4 lakh to more than 30 lakh. So what are you waiting for? If you're looking for the best training in the market and you're looking for the cutting edge best technology for good packages, please come to Gotham IT. We are waiting for you. Thank you very much.